So I'm Gisela Brandon. I'm uh, from the University of Gothenburg um, and uh, I'm a structural biologist. What we're doing now is uh, we're interested in using MAX4 to uh, um, try to explore this method called serial crystallography uh, where we want to find out the structure of different proteins while they're working. We want to follow these proteins um, while they do their job and, and uh, to follow the reaction that takes place within these proteins. What's different is that we actually um, take snapso snapshot images of these proteins uh, at room temperature uh, while they perform a reaction, or that's the ultimate goal. Um, so far we're only doing preparative experiments to, to achieve this uh, eventually. Uh, normally you just get static uh, structures of your protein in a frozen state. One protein that I'm very interested in is cytochrome oxidase, which is the protein that uses oxygen that we breathe in. Uh, it uses this oxygen to convert it to, um, to convert energy into a form that the cell can then use for different processes. We collected data at LCLS in the States and SACLA in Japan, where we've collected time-resolved data on these systems. And now we want to try to convert this method to also be able to use it at uh, synchrotron sources. Well, the benefit is that uh, XFEL beam time is very difficult to, uh, to get and usually there's a long, uh, you, you maybe only have one experiment a year um, and it would be extremely useful to be able to do preparations at a synchrotron so that we can optimize our crystals and our, our systems. We're excited. I, we see this as a long-term project and uh, we also, we're also very interested in using Micromax when that uh, comes up uh, in a few years' time. So uh, uh, this is, uh, we hope to do a lot of experiments here in the future.